For this video, I'm gonna show you how to add in the scrolling text that is displaying the current song that is playing in your live stream. This can be from YouTube, Windows Media Player, Spotify, and many other platforms, but I'm only gonna focus on two of them, which is gonna be YouTube and Windows Media Player because I don't use other ones, so I don't really know how to set them up, but it's still pretty simple. All you need to do is just to have them open. To do this, we are gonna use a program called SMG. It is a real small program created by he or he or she I'm not quite sure which it is and I'm sorry if it's you know I get it wrong but it's just a simple program that creates a file on your computer it picks up the song that you're listening to and then it puts it in a like a text document and then from there you can add it into OBS to you know show the song that's playing without you having to manually change it which would take so long and it's really useful because if you change the song or the song changes by itself, it also changes on here as long as you have the program open. First thing you wanna do is you want to go ahead and download the SMG zip file from the link in the description down below. It will take you to this page here. All you gotta do is download through your browser. And once you have that, you can then go ahead and open it up. Right click on your desktop, create a new folder. What you want to call it is something that you'll remember. So OBS SMG, that's what I'm going to call mine. You want to open it and make sure you do control A, highlight them all, then hold control and click on the top one because you don't want to get that one and just drag them in there. And what you're basically doing is that you are just creating the folder for where the SMG program will work with. It will be right there. You can now close this down and open this up. Once you've opened it up, you want to go to the very first one, music players, and go to where it says select your music player. In here, I'm gonna choose mine as Windows Media Player because that's what I have open right now. I'll also be doing YouTube a little bit later on. You want to keep scrolling down until you find Windows Media Player and just click on it. Once you've selected that, you just go ahead and click start and this will make this unavailable so you can't change it once you've started it. But if you want to change it, then go to stop and then you could change it again. Now that we've done all that, we can go into OBS and now we can actually start to create the overlay like this. I'm gonna create a new scene. I've already got mine here and I'm gonna go to add image and this is gonna be called music BG for short for background browse and we are going to look for where we made the music overlay so mine is here if you don't have one you can easily create one with photoshop if you don't have photoshop don't worry i completely understand it's quite expensive you can still go with other programs such as gimp paint.net and there is many more that are free select it and in here you just leave everything as it is press ok now that we've got it here we're gonna edit the scene. We're gonna put it where we want it. I'm gonna go with top left corner. Click it again to get rid of it. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and create a new one. This one's gonna be a text. In here, we're gonna call it now playing. And click okay. Instead of having this one here where it says enter text, where you normally type something, you're gonna go ahead and use this one. So use text form, go to browse. And what you want to do is you want to look for where you have your SMG file or folder, should I say, OBS, SMG, and then you want to select the one that says current song. Click on open. Now for the rest of it, it's really up to you. If you want to customize your text like I did, I don't really like Arial because it's too plain and boring. What I've done is I've scrolled down to like other ones such as this one, which are much better. They look really good and I changed the font size to something that's almost the same size as this pretty much and you can change the color, you can do all sorts here. Another important thing you want to do is you want to go to scroll speed and in here you want to select the speed. I normally like to have mine on a more slower speed so I'm going to go with 9. The last thing you can change is the outline. If it's hard to see your text, then you can use this to make it stand out more. But I'm gonna leave mine the way it is right now and we're gonna edit it later on if we don't like it. You wanna press okay. Now that we've got it up here, this is gonna need to be moved. Click on edit scene and just drag it where you want it to go. If your scrolling text doesn't reach or it's out of the box, you can go over here, go back into properties 
and take this one which will allow you to then customize how much you can actually have for it so i'm gonna go with let's say 100 let's see if that's enough i'm gonna need a bit more so just keep going until you are happy with it and let's say another 100 that's a bit too much we're gonna probably half it and then just keep going down until it reaches the edge and uh, there you go as you can see we are good if you want to change the height as well you can go over to this one and this one will change the limit of how much you can have on the screen press ok again and there we go we pretty much have our scrolling text okay so let's say now that you don't want to listen to the music that is playing from your computer and you want to go to youtube you can quickly switch this by pressing stop on here you go down to youtube select it click start then you want to close this down you want to have your youtube video playing in the background make sure it's open at all times and it will automatically change as you can see it is now playing the music that is from youtube and that is pretty much it if this video was helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up to show other people share it if you want and comment down below let me know if this was helpful or if it wasn't what you need help with unfortunately there is a problem with this program it's really good but the only thing is that it doesn't work with song request i've tried it and it just doesn't want to work i hope he does update it or fixes it because it will be really good if he could play it from song request but yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye